hello and welcome to this stream. Um, today we're trying something a bit different, we're going back to the old um, train simulator. Today we are on the Armstrong Powerhouse Worry Lines, we will be driving a class 170 from um, here in Norwich to Lowestoft. Um, we're currently sat here on platform 2, which is what, platform 2? This is quite unusual for a service, isn't it? Um, I don't know why I set it to platform 2, it must have been the um, platform that it came in on. Anyway, let's just set up the train, so I've turned the DRA off, master key in, and set the reverse to forward. And now the DRA comes on, right. Also coming in is a class 153 from Sheringham. As you can probably tell, this scenario was set um, in sort of 2018-2019 era. Um, I'm just going to set up um, exterior lighting, so we now have marker lights and headlights, etc. I am driving with the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 170 Enhancement Pack today, um, along with the Stop 170 that came with this route. There's our destination of lower stuff. Going 172.73 today. We have noticed that graphics are maybe slightly better if you're more sort of nerdy. People may have noticed that. Because um, we are using the um, Rollworks Enhancer or Rollworks Enhancer Pro today for our stream. That basically just makes things a little bit more crisp, a little bit more realistic, if you can say. Um, and it also allows me to play the game and stream to you in 4K. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the description. It's definitely worth um, considering. But it's not a paid promotion. It sounds like a paid promotion, doesn't it? But right. Anyway, let's head off. We are departing out of Norwich. Going for our Norwich line A because um, the parking error I found when I was driving the train. Right there we go. That the train went on the wrong track just before the worry lines. But I'm sure the better people wouldn't really want to know more about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a bit. It's a bit. Yeah, it's definitely less laggy than it was before OBS. But um, yeah, it's just a bit laggy because we're we're in Norwich, of course, and there's lots of trains on there. There's a um, Mark III set just just um, on platform one as we depart. Also, here we do have a couple of 37s that are being stabled there for operation on the worry lines. That's where I stood for my Norwich video at the end of platform one and two. That's a very good place because you can see most of the action going down there. Yeah, frame rate's improved already uh, as we move on to the worry lines. Oops. As you can see, we do have a few um, units here in Norwich Crown Point Depot as we approach Fort Junction where the worry line separates from the main Great Eastern Main Line we've got 156, Mark 3 set, another 170 and stop that very interesting this is why I love Drone Simulator, there's like a big debate thing about which is better, Drone Simulator or Drone Sim World 2 um, there's lots of things to talk about in the stream, so I'll be looking for later. Anyway, the next stop um, will be Brundle, which will be arriving at 14.13, um, just over, or about five miles time. Here. Do love the 37s. We'll see one of them in action on the way. They yeah, probably just heard me testing this. Beautiful route. It's even more beautiful with RW Enhancer on today. Buffering. Yeah, 
Yeah, we are buffering a bit, aren't we? I'm aware of that if you're watching this in the stream. You'll be able to see that in the video when it comes up. Um, probably on early. Oh, it's improving. But, um, notice it is buffering a bit. If you're watching the stream, then congratulations, you've made it early. Anyway, here we are at um, Whittling Junction, where the line towards Sheringham diverges off to our left at the speed limit of 25 miles an hour. It's Chroma Sheringham, that sort of location. And we're going to continue along the main Murray Lines route. Whoa, lag spike. There we go. Um, running via Reedham today, as all low stop services do. Lots of level crossings as well. Yeah, apologies, when the video comes out it won't be nearly as choppy as it is. Let's see, um, let's talk about um, RW Enhancer. So it's like a, um, there's a freeware version and there's a payware version. I've got the freeware version here, it's available for download from their website. Um, which I'll also link down in the description. It basically allows you to play train simulator with improved graphics um, in 4K while still having a really good frame rate. As you can see, it also um, contains like an external shader thing, so you can see you've got lots of like nice ray tracing and bloom effects. And I think just the train itself looks a bit more realistic and um, a little bit more crisp and sharp. The graphics are. shortly be passing Brundle Garden Station, this is our first stop along the way. And shortly after we'll be stopping at our first station which is Brundle, which you can see just popping up onto the HUD. I'm just going to change something on OBS very quickly. You saw nothing. Um, OBS. Uh, I won't be able to change the um, video while it's um, streaming, will I? Right, does this help the buffering? Passing Brundle Garden Station along with the level crossing just before Brundle Garden Station. Too sure on the name. Brundle has a much more impressive level crossing, I say. Quite short platforms here, I never realised how short the platforms were on this route. Actually, Greater Anglia with their Class 170s, they were handed over to transport for Wales at the end of last year as this, um, the units became redundant. This is Church Lane level crossing. Um, oh, you do need to slow down a bit. Really. So, they're often operating the. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, is it the Welsh, Welsh Marches line? There's like a um, Chilton to my stick route that they often seen on. Is it Chilton to my stick or is it Hereford to my stick? Or am I thinking of something completely different? 
I mean, it looks like we're coming in nice and early here. You can see we've got the impressive level crossing here. This level crossing here at Bundle um, is one of the last remaining manual level crossings in the country, as in it's operated by hand. It's quite interesting to get on and have a look. So, yeah. Where's the signal box? Where is the signal box here, everybody? Is it this building here? And then the signal woman will come down and they all close these gates manually by hand. I'm not sure if there's like a um, animation for this in Train Simulator. It'd be good if there was. It's quite a nice screenshot. Oh, that's a bit too close. There we go. That's a good screenshot. I'll use that for my video. Can we zoom out a bit and get a picture of the level crossing? my absolute video by accident. Hi Charlie, worry lines, yay, indeed worry lines. I do like the worry lines, I'm sure you like the worry lines. So oh, 156 coming in, this is following a great arm of to Bernie Arms great arm of T Norwich for our Bernie Arms service. I haven't checked the um, chat. I do need to check the chat. Says I will stop next stop Cantley at 14.19, so we're skipping another few stops on the road. Stop skipping Buckingham, but I believe that's the request stop. And off we go, passing Buckingham. Passing Brundle, even. Shortly after Brundle, we will continue off to the right. Here at Brundle Junction, the line, the main line from um, Great Yarmouth to Acle diverges off or connects, depending on whichever way the trains are going. Most services to Great Yarmouth do go this way, but I believe it's um, a few trains every day go via that um, this way towards Great Yarmouth, like that 156 was doing that we just saw. That section of the route to Great Yarmouth via Acre is also available on train sim with the Worry Lines route. Passing number 13, level crossing. Sounds quite nice as well. Say if all the frame rate on train sim has improved there with um, RW Nonza. I'm just going to spend the entire evening playing around with Rootsgrave. Alright, this is Jumpshaw Fen level crossing. Shortly followed by Jumpshaw level crossing. And signal box. And we are now passing Buckingham Station. It's a request stop. But um, as of the timetable on real time trains, we are not scheduled to stop here regardless. small station and now we shouldn't have done that we shouldn't have sounded the horn because if there was someone on the platform then they would have been notified that the train would stop but our train is not stopping there are, there's a really staggered platforms there see how far away the our platform was from the down platform 
miles away. Oh, here's the 37. This is going from Lowestoft to Norwich. It's a pair of 37s. Couldn't get the best of the sound, unfortunately, because we're going at quite a speed, but it's interesting. Now, this is saying we're doing company a bit late, but um, I don't think so. Hopefully, it'll correct itself. If you want to download this scenario, I will be posting on Alan Thompson Sim in the next few days. Yep, that link will be in the description and this scenario will be available for you to download. I'll put a list of requirements on the Alan Thompson Sim website. This is probably one of my favourite routes for train simulator. What is my favourite route for train simulator? I don't know, I'm yet to um, try out the um, West Coast Main Line South. I haven't purchased that one yet, that's definitely very high on my list of... Um, oh, we do need to slow down again, don't we? <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Um, that's very high on my list of um, DLC to get for the game. You see a video coming for that, um, hopefully quite soon. It's good to see that they bought the 390 back as well, because once the Virgin trademark, um, or once Virgin Trains died, um, Virgin Trains requested for train simulators to take the Virgin delivery 390 off their store for some reason. Um, but Dovetail Games have remade it again with the Avanti West Coast Lip Read um, 390 and 221. And there was a lot of um, included trains for that one. There's a 350 dash one, dash two, dash three. I'm not sure if there's a dash four or not because that came after the um, thing was developed. Yeah, we are coming in a bit late here, aren't we? No big deal. Yeah, we're kind of about 20 seconds late. No big deal. That definitely looks like a really good route, good job for Dogtour Games. I haven't seen any videos in it yet. Hi Josh, I can confirm that the rail tour from London King's Cross to Lowestoft has been cancelled and been postponed until next year. Alright. Um. It's predicted. I wonder if the customers will get their refunds because this is the second time that this rail tour. Um, has been cancelled this year. It was supposed to have run in April, I think, but now it had been postponed to um, October. But now, as COVID cases are rising, and because it is a um, lunch visiting thing service, it departs King's Cross and the Peak, um, they have cancelled that service until next year. Or just said postponed. Interesting sounds coming from the power station, I have to say. It's running next year in April, yeah, that'll be the next time the Royal Tour runs. It's going to be a good one to see, hopefully it's still Tornado doing it. Basin's level crossing.
Maybe this is Bayesian level crossing. There's more level crossings that are, than are mentioned here in my check out this. Next up we'll be reading Wow, look at that, there's a lot of level crossings. Anyway, next stop is Reedham. Hi, when you come in Bridge of Earn again? I have no idea, I have never been to Bridge of Earn, but I don't have any particular intentions to go there, so, um, so I'm not sure. Sure, but uh, uh, no, I think we're fine. We have no shoot, overshot even. Uh, but we are a bit. Nah, that's all right, I guess. Yeah, that's a that's a good stop. I mean, does Bridge of Earn even have a station? I don't think so. I think it used to, but not anymore. I'm from with that. Yeah, that route is full of foot crossings. I even tried the pair of 37s in quick joy of dragging a class 9 hole from Great Elmer to Norwich in the National Express delivery. That is interesting. Um, they did used to do that, didn't they? They did used to do class 90s from London Liverpool Street onto the Wherry Lines, all by class 37s and um, like other diesel locomotives. Something that I think they should do again. Maybe with 745s or something like that. Anyway, we are now diverging off, or the line, well, we're diverging off to the right. The line to Burnie Arms, um, um, to Great Yarmouth via Burnie Arms, is going off to the left. We make a sharp right turn across the Reed and Swing Bridge. Um, we have a speed limit of 50 miles an hour coming up ahead, and then 20 later for the swing bridge. Um, to head along the mainland to Oslo, stop to our next stop at Hadisco, which is in just under 4 miles. Ninety double oh one has been renamed from Crown Point to Royal Scott and has done a rail tour yesterday from York to London, Euston via Camden then to Crewe. Um oh here comes a sixty eight actually. Um in the Scott Rail livery. With a couple of um coaches with another sixty eight in the rail. Um yes, um ninety double oh one went through Potter's Bar yesterday. Um I didn't see it yesterday, um, it was around the time that I'd be at Potter's Bar, but I didn't see it yesterday because I was self-isolating, and I still am self-isolating. Which is a shame, really. If it was there, then I would have seen it. Nice double of one. Do you like the delivery? That's being stored at Crew. I'd like to go to Crew sometime as well. It's one of the stations that I really want to go to. And it's one of the stations that, again, are really busy in the country. A bit like Doncaster. Doncaster and Crew are the two main ones. But look at the sharp turn we're making to the right. You can see what the speed limit is 20. Look at that. This is so that we can go over the swing bridge.
Here's a swing bridge. See, it makes the lovely swing, swing bridge sound when we go over it. Sort of, not really. Kerr is nice, as well as the Heritage Centre, which is a good place to watch trains. Yeah, I really need to go to crew sometimes, CP trains. It's a great place to go. Another great place to um, look at trains I've um, discovered, after looking back at my um, London King's Cost of Falker Grimston train simulator route, is um, um, Newcastle Castle. The, well, the castle type thing in Newcastle. That's just right in the middle of the junction of the two railways so if you um, went to the top of the um, castle then you could get really good views across the station but I could go there, seems like a um, nice station to go to Newcastle lots of variety. Speed limit is still 20 miles an hour but it will be going up to 60 in a bit we are now passing Norton Marsh level crossing Worry lines, where is that? The worry lines are sort of in Norfolk. In South East England. They're on the coast and they connect um, Norwich to um, Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. Right, we should now be able to accelerate on 260. Again, I really do love the acceleration sounds that the 170 makes, at least the 170 on Armstrong Powerhouse makes. Yeah, most of Norfolk is just flat land, especially this part of Norfolk. Most of, um, it's just flat land. Notice that on the train going up um, to Norwich when I filmed in August, um, there was lots of the land between Stowmarket and Norwich was just completely flat and there was not much on it at all. It was just pretty much this sort of landscape. You can see here. To over speed a bit, aren't we? But you forgot. I saw the path to North Road World Tour a few days ago, it was a pair of 37s. Yes, I heard about that, I remember seeing it on real time trains. I just thought, why is it going from Perth to North Road? Do you know? I know there's like a um, the Bishop Auckland line has got like a really weird. Um, things on it because you've got the Hitachi plant and then you've got the um, railway museum in Shildon as well. Um, it's just a few stops up the line. But I don't see why it's going to North Road. That's the first stop out of Darlington, isn't it? We're now approaching Haddisco Station. There's a nice boat to our left. On a little lake or river type thing. That's yeah, a river. Mm. At this point, we're about seven miles out from Lower Stuff, and we've got two more stop, three more stops to go, including this one. I believe with the new service pattern there are now um, 
two types of services that go from um, Norwich to Lowestoft. There is a one slow service, this is a service that we are driving now. Um, stops at all the stations on route including the Brundle, Cantley, Reedham, Haddisco, Summerlade and Altenburg North and Lowestoft. And then there's another one that just completely skips all the stations onto Alton Road North and then stops at um, um, Lowestoft after that. It's a very weird service, I didn't see the point of it, but it's a nice quick connection to get to Lowestoft, I guess. I think that's new after the 755s came around. Successful stop, next stop, Summer at 1436, not far to go to. I died as my voice back. I put myself on mute for a minute, and then, as usual, um, what I did um, was I forgot to turn my microphone off. Um, yes, anyway, um, oh, 755s or 170s, that is a very hard one. I'll go with 755s. I know they're less reliable, but um, they're more comfy. Are they more comfy? I've never been on a. Um, Greater Anglia 170 before, but um, I'm sure they're good trains. The 755s I've been on, well, I've been on 1755, and Josh, you'll know how that turned out. Um, basically, after filming my Norwich video at Norwich, um, there were two trains cancelled going from Norwich to Liverpool Street because of a problem having. Um, of a train having problems at Liverpool Street earlier. Um, so we got stuck on a 755 that was forming a service from Norwich to Colchester. Um, and getting an hour's load of people on two cancelled trains on a free car 755 was not a good idea at all, we realised. So it was a very crowded train. But the 755s, they're good trains. I do like them when they're working. got another swing bridge coming up ahead, that's why we're slowing down. It's the Summer Leighton swing bridge. Yeah, it's better sound. Yeah, that sounds a bit more like a swing bridge. Comments 9C001 has been renamed. Yup, um, have I talked about 9C001 yet? That went through Potter's Bar a few days ago, and um, I would have seen that, but I'm currently self isolating at the moment, so um, that's not something that I could do. But if it's the sort of time that I'd be around Potter's Bar station as well, um, which is a real shame, but you know, these things happen. I'm not in control of everything that happens, so we've never shot the stop sign of it. Actually, we're alright. Press summer Leighton. And the 37 is perfect enough for a drop at all. I think it, Tommy says you think it was an ECS. Um, yeah, I think I've talked about this already, haven't I? <laughs> um, or I'm not sure when I actually put myself on mute, so that's why I'm repeating this. Um, it wasn't an ECS, that's all I can tell you. I had a one head code, so it was a proper um, rail to all holding passengers. So guess we'll stop next up, Walking Broad North at 14.42. In just over four miles time.
So there are two stations um, starting at Alton Broad. There's Alton Broad North and then there's Alton Broad South. Alton Broad South is served by trains on the East Suffolk Line going between Ipswich and Lurstoft. That's got a single platform. Alton Broad North is served by trains on the Norwich to um, Lurstoft Wherry Lines. That's got two platforms. And then nice swing bridges on the Suffolk Line. Shame really, see what you mean with CP trains. Um, about the 755s or 170s. I mean, the 170s and 156s had some character on them and it really brought sort of variety to the um, worry lines. But um, I think once the 755s um, start working um, a bit better than they are now, um, then um, they'll be really great trains. Armstrong Powerhouse route with an Armstrong Powerhouse train, interesting. And lots of foot crossings. These yeah, these are foot crossings, aren't they? They're not um, road crossings or anything. These are all foot crossings, tiny little foot crossings. Jonah 14.42, we're still about 10 um, seconds or so late, so I might need to bring up the speed a bit and make ourselves a bit closer to 60 miles an hour. I think I can see the sea ahead of us. but we curve around to the left a bit. Yeah, I was supposed to go on this route from Norwich to Lowestoft um, in real life on the 3rd of October. Or, I, w I will have been, I would have been going on this route. Um, that's because of the um, Easterling Rail Tour, which I was going to see. That's a um, rail tour organised by a railway touring company that ran from London King's Cross to Lowestoft via Norwich. Um, but. Um, as you heard earlier, Josh was saying that that is cancelled, um, um, and it will be happening again next year. So I do hope um, to catch that maybe next year when the time comes around. Yeah, it's not running this year. And it was um, the Steam Loco Tornado as well. I'm getting a bit too generous on the bricks here. But we are arriving in nice and early now, so it pay off a bit. Open World North. Oh, whoa, that's a bit zoomed in. Um, might be able to get a nice view of the train because we've got a nice straight section of track here. 
you move all the way down to that. We've arrived about 20 seconds early as well. Another great screenshot maybe. I'm debating which one of these will be the thumbnail for the video. You may have seen the description already, but um, at lowest of, um on platform, what platform is it? Further south platform, I think it's platform, platform one, is it? Because we're arriving on platform, yes, platform one, there is something interesting, which you'll see um, when we come into lowest of. about 1.1 and a half miles just under. But still got semi four signals looking lovely. It's definitely a really well preserved route. It was a great routine. Um including train simulator and Armstrong Pass have done a really good job of it. We do have a yellow signal up ahead, which is slightly worrying. Um, which means that the signal we can see um, in 0 0.77 miles just now will be a um, red, which I'm slightly worried about. I'm not sure what that'll be. Four. Oh, I know what it is. We'll just have to wait and see. Went to emergency brake, which is something that I don't really like doing, but I really do need to stop at the signal. Time warp. Um, right, this bit will not be included in the video because it's just four minutes of nothing happening, but um, we've got green signals, green signals. Oh, we have a green signal now, don't we? Yeah, we have a green signal now. Hang on. Yeah, we can go. Need to make sure that the points are set correctly because I really don't want to do well. points are not set correctly. I don't know if you can see it yet. There are some 37s but that's not the main attraction. Can you see it yet? Can you see it? It's a rail tour. No, this is definitely a red signal, isn't it? Let's stop here. Because I know that we will be waiting. Right, now comes the time warp. I'm going to spoil this for a bit for you. This indeed is a rail tour, a steam rail tour. This is a Black 5 44901. 
In real life, I do believe that this locomotive is preserved on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Um, got some nice green coaches that came stock thing, and then some, I believe, what are um, quite cool coaches, and we've got a nice little 47 jogging work the red. And we do also have a 153, 153, 314, which is not going to launch, that'll be going to Ipswich in a bit. This bit will not be included in the video, so I can do what I want. In fact, I think we can go onto the platform a bit. And we can see this rail tour departing. It'll be departing at 1449, I believe. It's a great train. It's really well simulating the train simulator as well. It's a stock thing that came with the... Um, West of Scotland port routes are really available for, um, where is it available from? I'm not sure where I got it from. It appears to be making some nice noises. And that one will be departing in about a minute or so. We can just have a look at, um, everything with Wilworks and Pants on. Is it Wilworks and Pants sir? No, it's RW now, sir. You can see that the textures on this 47 do look a bit more smooth and we can see it got um, nice bloom effects as well because that is a really nice thing. We could get a nice shot of the free trains as they come in um, for the thumbnail as well. Anyway this one is off in about 30 seconds time, let's see it go up. This is what we're waiting for. Right, I'm going to start recording now. Can you see it? Yes, that is a Black 5 locomotive. That was on a special rail tour. Starting here at Norwich. Making a lovely noise. What is that? Is that the 47? No, there goes the Black 5. That is on a rail tour. Almost like the Easterling, I guess. Loving the noise that it makes. It's not a tornado, it's just a normal Black 5. It looks really amazing. It's just a stock locomotive that came with the West of Scotland port route. It's all in some Mark 1s. I want to get a really nice screenshot of the um, steam loco passing the um, 170. We have to do it from behind. Listen to that. Zoom up a bit. Now we'll zoom in a bit. That's perfect. I don't have to um, think about thumbnail for the route, but also for the um, scenario on Alan Thompson, so we need a thumbnail for. And you can see the theatre telling us we are coming in on platform 3. Hang on, does Lowestoft not have a platform? No, I think Lowestoft didn't have a platform 1. Yeah, Lowestoft doesn't have a platform 1. Platform 2 is the train, which is currently... Platform 2 is currently occupied by a 153. Um, and we're coming along platform 3, middle platform. The rail tour has just left platform 4. I'm sure this could be up to some point. 
I mean, the worry lines could do with an upgrade, but I think that the old semaphore signalling um, does have something to it. It gives it like a sense of almost preservation. We're coming in a few minutes late, actually. I'd path this drone to be ahead of the rail tour, but trains him in its um, grid point setting system and allowed the rail tour to go first. Which is a bit annoying, but um, it's going to say that we haven't completed this scenario successfully. But I think it was a success and I really did enjoy this scenario. I hope you did too, as we're um, just going into an end. I know that lower stuff station has a glitch where you can go straight through the wall. I might try that in a bit. In fact, let's try it now, it'll just be really funny. Oh, no, 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 because we need the screenshot, we need the screenshot, we need the screenshot, we need the screenshot. Right, here we go. Right now I'm here. That's lower stuff. Whoa, okay. It's a bit too much. That do? That's no, not centered properly. To the glitch in a minute. Can you see the little wall thing up ahead? You can drive straight through it, it's really funny. It got a bit of Zed fighting going on there as well. I failed to stop at this station in the required time or location. Cool. Alright, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. My next video will most, most likely be a train spotting video from a location such as Gatwick Airport or Lincoln Central, one of the two or maybe somewhere else, or it could be another train simulator stream. I also have started a plane spotting channel, my um, aviation related content is now on that channel, I'll be uploading a video on that one shortly, that is from London Luton Airport. Um, yes, thank you very much for watching this video, I really do hope you enjoyed. Um, please make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it, and if you did, if you did enjoy it, my grammar is completely lied. If you did enjoy it then please make sure to like this video um, and if you do enjoy my content then make sure to subscribe and I will see you in another video. Go on OBS, close. OBS, don't film me now. Hey, trains crashed. That was good timing. <laughs>